Okay, this is a product review for the Buffalo Classic USB gamepad for the PC. Um, I got it off of Amazon for $15, not counting shipping. Um, I have, I, I'm actually an uh, Amazon Prime member, so I didn't have to pay any shipping on it. But it's, um, as you can see, it's got Japanese text on it. And this is being recorded with an iPad Air when it flips it, so everything's kind of mirrored, and it's like you're reading it backwards. Um, so you can see here it's it says Windows 7. It should be compatible, I'm hoping, um, with my computer, which does have some um, emulation on it. I'm not really going to go into details. I don't want to get arrested and put in jail for that. You know, be put away for life. So here it is. You can see it's got a USB. Basically, I was looking at it was one of the best reviewed, pretty much the best reviewed on Amazon for um, SNES type game pads for the computer. Um, I grew up with the Super Nintendo, um, Final Fantasy 3 or uh, Final Fantasy 6 in Japan, Chrono Trigger, some of my favorite games of all time. Those are the best role playing games ever. Uh, and I've played a lot of the new gens, or some of the new generation um, that's followed it, but it's those are the best ones. And Secret of Mana, um, I need to play more. Um, I haven't really got far in that game. So, here's the manual. It's all Japanese. Um, should be plug and play, I think. That's what the review said. So here it is. Um, the colors, I wasn't really that into that. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like Xbox, X, Xbox-like. I was trying to say Xbox-ish. There's really no, nothing that remove here it's all right there there's no plastic um, covering or anything okay so how does this feel y b x a it's pretty close to how the super nintendo felt now i played that when i was a kid for years so I'm, it's just like a thing that like i like i i can feel it weighs a little different it's a little smaller um there's a little good good taps to these, good uh, responsiveness to these buttons. Pretty long cord. It's punched up. There's no need. I don't need to be. I'm not going to be sitting on my couch away from my computer, but, you know, great. I just keep it coiled the way it is for now. Um, so, yeah. So, um, Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma came out. So, um, I will be doing something or some things with that. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just not really going to give any details, um, because I'm not even really sure. I've got all this stuff. I've got, I've got a job and whatnot. Um, but we'll see. Anyway. Assume, I'm going to assume it's going to work. I like how they kept this little rose, which it's just a design thing. It doesn't doesn't help in any way, really, like with functionality. This is way better than what I had before. What I was using was this um, PS3 PC uh, controller, which works. But it's not really great for Super Nintendo games. <laughs> I mean, as you can imagine. It is compatible. You switch it with this. This SciTech Cyborg thingy. It's got this precision name, which and I don't know if that works or not. It's decent enough for PS3. If you've got a PS3 and you accidentally hit R3 and L3, you're not going to get that with this thing. Because you have to actually physically hit it. And it's not like if you're trying to, like, you know, you panic and and you accidentally melee it because you're, you know, you squeeze out of fear and someone jumps at you or something. 
you're not going to accidentally hit R3 with this kind of thing. But it's not, it's definitely too heavy, heavier and bulkier and less comfortable than the PS3. Especially if the PS3 uh, pad, like the DualShock 3 or 6 axis 3 or whatever. Um, I guess it's just called 6 axis. Um, but this is definitely not as comfortable. This is rough on the hands. These are a little small. These triggers are, should be sized differently. R2 should be bigger in L2. Anyway, that's a, that's obviously a tangent. So we're going to try this out. I'll, I'll write if this doesn't work or, I'll, or if there's some kind of functionality problems, I'll comment on it. But I don't anticipate that will be an issue. I'm going to do some Final Fantasy 3, some Chrono Trigger, some Secret of Mana, some what else? Donkey Kong Country, <laughs> Super Mario World, etc. Um, Link to the Past. Lots of stuff. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, etc. It goes on and on. So anyway, there you go. Oh, Super Mario All-Stars. So that's it. Thanks for watching.